Hi, we're Todd and Cindy Schatzman. We know right now in everyone's heart, there's many things being pressed, pressed into us right now. Economics, relationship issues, job security, health issues, numerous other things. And yet at the same time, on the other hand, we have a God who is able to meet all those needs and desires to meet all those needs. He simply wants his children, us, to come to him to be a house of prayer, to pray without ceasing, and to ask and to receive what he has to give us. And what we want to do is introduce a model of prayer that we've been using for a while called conversational prayer from, a, from City Prayer. And at City Prayer, it's a simple model that we're hoping to provide for you and your family today that you can easily do from your home or you can invite other people into it. But we're simply taking God's word, we release it out into mm -hmm. a portion, circle people up for to pray for three to five minutes so that nobody dominates and nobody gets carried away. And I know in my case, um, when there's maybe an issue between Todd and myself, I start lecturing him. But when we base everything on God's word, none of that happens. We just simply pray God's word back, then come back and take another portion of God's word, circle up and pray for three to five minutes, pray his word back. And we usually do that about three times. Mm -hmm. Besides that model that we would love to share with you, and we're going to model here in a moment, we'd like to encourage you to try and find people that you can circle up and pray with virtually. You may find seven men or women that you want to bring together, and maybe somebody takes a different day of the week, not in a legalistic way, but in just a, an accountability way where um, I know every Thursday I am praying for the other women and praying for their marriages, their ministries, and their children. So that's one thing you can do. If you're single or you live alone, we just encourage you to find somebody else to circle up with, maybe through Skype or FaceTime, and then go through the model that we're presenting with you. But again, just ask God to give you some creativity, but we are encouraging you to find two or more people that you can circle up and pray with because God is in our midst whenever there's two or more of us. So what we want to do uh, for this particular example is really just take the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that Jesus Christ gave us himself, and to demonstrate that. And we're going to break that into three components. We're going to look at the first component, which is going to be our relationship with God and who he is and his character. And we'll simply, I'll read the scripture, and then we'll pray together, and then we'll go to the next piece. And just a quick note is even as we do this, you're, if you're at home and you have your children circled up with you, we know the younger ones have a hard time holding still and holding their hands still. Just really let them worship in their own way or pray. Maybe some will color with that you are reading out loud. Maybe other children that are more tactile might want to act it out. A lot of times we, ha we would read Psalms and the younger children would act those things out because that kept them busy but just allow them to engage in a way that is natural for a child and feel free to hit pause and maybe even ask other questions like, what do you think the word holy means? And maybe take some time to look it up in the dictionary. And then again, instead of talking about it, we just turn right around and take our words and turn them into a prayer to God. Instead of talking to one another, we're talking to God because it's a conversational prayer. Use that his words. So let's okay. start. Then the Lord says, pray in this way, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So Heavenly Father, we do just lift our eyes to heaven and we say, hollow or holy is your name. We thank you that you are seated on high, that you are good and true and pure, that nothing unholy can come from you. So we bless your name and we thank you that through Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, those who believe on his name are clothed in your righteousness and you see holiness when you see us. So during these times and these pressures, we pray that we will make holy decisions and holy responses to give you honor as our heavenly Father. Lord, our heart is to see your kingdom coming. Mm -hmm. We know, Lord, that during these difficult times that we trust in you and your will be done. And Lord, let the church be a reflection of you so that on earth as it is in heaven and we would glorify you and honor you and we would respond in a way that brings you glory, that brings peace and well-being 
and shalom mm -hmm. to our fellow brothers and sisters and to those who don't know you, and that we might be able to glorify the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So the second part of the Lord's Prayer is Jesus showing us how to pray and share our needs with God and what our daily needs are. He says, give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Mm -hmm. So Heavenly Father, we ask, we ask for the daily bread provision of so many people who don't know where they're getting their next meal from or they don't know how rent is going to be met. Father, we turn our eyes to heaven and we ask for your daily bread. Jesus is the bread of life and his body was broken as bread. And every time we take communion, we are partaking of Jesus Christ's sacrifice. Father God, we thank you that we can come to you and ask for bread provision physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We ask for your thoughts to be our thoughts and your emotions to be our emotions and your will to be our aligned will. We ask for this in the name of Jesus. And for Lord, for those who have lost their jobs or had their hours cut or their pay cut, mm -hmm. we pray that you would uh, provide for them, that you would bring new jobs for them, you would bring more hours, additional pay, that you would just meet them where they need. Father, for the relationship strains, we pray for reconciliation, that we would be quick to forgive and we'd be quick to ask for forgiveness. Help us to be holy and set apart and reflect you. Mm -hmm. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Amen. In the last part, the last part, Jesus says, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And we would just say amen and amen to that. We will praise you and we glorify you for you are worthy to receive our praise. And that's our example of conversational prayer with you this evening. We thank you for just the opportunity to, to share that with you. And I do believe, we believe that when we do pray, we are encountering his kingdom, his power and his glory. And we are agreeing with his prayers, with his promises, with everything he provides in his word. So this is more than wishful prayers. Mm. It's standing on the promise of God. So our prayer for you is that God will help you identify the people you can circle up with and begin to have a conversation with him through prayer because we believe he hears the cries of many, whether they're tiny cries or they're huge cries. He hears us. Thank you so much. We love you and we're praying for you. Thank you.